I look after one of my friend's kids the other day. He's like six or 14, I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we were watching Blue Peter. That show's insane. They were teaching him how to make shoes out of shoe boxes. <laughs> we had to go out and buy two pairs of shoes. <laughs> I was like, why are they showing them this? Show them something they can use, like how to skin up a joint. <laughs> Sign up for an internet account, you know what I mean? It's insane. I was, I was there, I was watching it like, the thing is, right, I was sitting there watching it going, why are they showing them something they can use in real life? Like, where's, like, why do they stop showing you how to do stuff on television once you get to a certain point? Like, once you get to a certain age, they should have, like, a Barney or a Sesame Street for adults <laughs> so that they can be taught stuff. You know what I'm saying? They teach people stuff like that, like, you know how to cash a check or something like that, sign up for not be racist on the internet, you know, old people could do that course, you know. <laughs> Like that, you could teach them how to do that, how to measure out a gram of cocaine, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> teach them how to do proper stuff they can earn money for, right? You can even have that crazy American guy come on, show you how to do things you've never been shown how to do before. You know, the guy I'm talking about, the guy that failed acting school, who's all smiles up front, but he's dead behind the eyes, right? <laughs> Let me just get into character. You won't even know it's me, a professional actor, right? <laughs> oh, hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just doing some shopping in the supermarket. <laughs> do you know how to shop in the supermarket? I bet you do. Hey, look, there's my friend. There's my friend Elmo. He's had a stroke. the ventriloquism a lot easier. Hey, <laughs> Elmo, what are you doing? I'm just doing some shopping in the supermarket, Bill, but I'm a little sad. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you sad, Elmo? Because every line's got like 20 people in it, and they all have a full shopping trolley, and I only have one pint of milk, and I don't want to be here all fucking day. <laughs> Gee, that sucks, Elmo. You should use the self-service tills. The self-service? What? Well, the self-service tills. But I don't know how to use those, Phil. It's okay, Elmo. I'll show you. <laughs> if you've only got one basket and you need to pay quick, you can scan it all yourself. It'll only take a tick. You can use a special till called the self-service machine. You can even get a discount if you know what I mean. <laughs> Phil? Well, you scan your item through and you make it go beep, beep. You put it in the bag and it's nearly yours to keep. The machine uses a barcode to keep track of all your goods, but it's open to abuse when it comes to safety. <laughs> Like an apple has no barcode, so that isn't any use. There's a special button there for fruit and veg when they're sold loose. It'll ask you what you got there, like an onion or a plum. It'll ask you how many, and you just press one. That's right, Emma. <laughs> That's right, you just press one. Doesn't matter what it is either. It could be a nectarine or a fridge. It, it could be anything. Because they have them in Ikea. Company policy say it's not allowed to accuse you of stealing. I have to say it looks like you made a mistake, sir. Do you mind going back and correcting it? You should act surprised. <laughs> Kitchen? I thought this was a packet of tea lights. Why are you looking at me? So you keep on scanning items and making them go beep. It's a lot of fun to use and it's really, really neat. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no, it's a lot 
don't expect to have him in the baggy area. <laughs> Does that happen up in Phil? Every fucking time! <laughs> so what do we do? We get the lady that works here, and she'll come talk to us like we just kicked a puppy in the face. Because we have the audacity to interrupt her conversation with a colleague. So you go grab a staff member and they'll come and patronize ya. They won't try to disguise the fact that they fucking despise ya. <laughs> but don't you worry, Elmo, we will show them what for, cause we're gonna steal another little something from the store. <laughs> we'll be outlaws, we'll be bandits, we'll be criminals at large, cause we'll take a plastic bag, but we won't pay no ten pence charge. <laughs> 